be telling you guys about a poor wooden gift. One day there was a, a offering thing where people donated money and there was rich people who put in lots of coins and then it was the lady's turn and she only had two pennies so she put it in the offering box even though she was poor. God said you they, we have extra but she said no thank you and she walked out and went home. Today I will be telling you about Joseph Colorful Coat. He had a lot of brothers that was jealous of him and his dad gave him a coat and his brothers took it off him and threw him in the ditch and then later on his um he didn't have any his family didn't have any food and they went to the kingdom to get some food and they and then they discovered that Joseph was the king, the king of the kingdom, and he gave him food and he took it. I'll be telling you about the story of the stolen baby. They had a woman, she was trying to have a baby, but her baby died. And they had another woman, and her baby lived. So the woman whose baby died went go take the baby. And then the woman reported it. And Solomon said, okay, I'll half and up the baby so you'll take it. Because he knew that the real mother wouldn't want her baby to die. So um, the real mother said, no, you can, she can keep it, she can keep it, she can keep it. And Solomon said, give her the baby. Today I'll be telling you a story about Samson. He was a strong, strong uh, person. And Jesus made him a warrior. He fought against the e Egyptians, and he uh, had a, a, girl, a wife, and his wife wanted to know his secret to how strong he was. And then he, uh, she kept asking him, but one time he told her a lie. He said, if you tie me up, my powers will go away. She tied him up, but his powers didn't go away. Then, that night, she asked him, really, what is your powers? And then he actually told her, if you cut my hair, I will have no powers. And then the next night, she cut, his, cut her hair. Then the Egyptians knew, knew how to defeat him. And they put, locked him up in jail. Then Samson had a prayer and prayed to the Lord that he could get his powers back one more time. And then after Jesus answered his prayer, he had his powers and defeated the Egyptians. Leon and Noel, I would like both of y'all to say, Blessed is the man. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the sea of scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and his law meditates day and night. Therefore he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, who brings forth fruit in his season, whose leaves also shall not wither, or whatever he does shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but all the chaff which the wind drives away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand, can judge or come to the king's righteousness. For the Lord knows the way of righteousness, but the way of ungodly shall perish. Giovanni and Ruth, I would like you to sing the 23rd Psalm, The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He's making me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thou rise and I stop. They come to me. Thou prepares a table for me in the presence of my enemies. He anoints my head with oil, my cup running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Ruth, if someone didn't know how to say the owl for the prayer, how should they say it? Our Father, that dwell in heaven, hallowed be our name, our kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debt, as we forgive our debt to us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thou the kingdom, for God and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.